Okay guys, we're going to do a quick tutorial video on um, how to block uh, certain countries from uh, coming to your site. Um, I'm just going to give you an idea, kind of show you kind of what, a, what an attack looks like. Um, and more, it's, it's probable that your site got attacked because there was a lot of attacks going on this past week. Um, so let me just kind of show you uh, what an attack looks like and then um, I'm going to show you how to use a plugin to um, stop a lot of that. Now this plugin is going to work um, in addition to the other uh, word fence and WP security uh, and then the other plugins that I use. So this is going to be just an additional um, if you see attacks coming in from a, from a lot of different places this is going to be a plugin that you can use. So first let me just show you kind of what it looks like. Okay, so the our plugin is called uh, security. I mean, uh, block country. Okay, so it's IQ block country. And if we take a look at the logging. Okay, so what we're doing is we're log uh, taking a look at the logging of what um, the attack looks like. Okay, now this is going to be on one of my membership sites, uh, and, but that has nothing to do with the attack. Um, so because it doesn't matter what site it is. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like. So these are going to be what you're seeing as far as. Um, the attacks coming in, you can see these are all from today. Um, we're at 743, uh, well, it starts down here at 705, 706. So it's gone, um, it, it stays steady, okay? So the attacks will come in in a steady. Now, if you take a look down here, um, we, talk, we talk about the countries that are blocked. Russian Federation, there was over, almost 1,500 blocked attempts um, in the last uh, two or three days, okay? Um, so um, I mean, we got, we're, we, we, this is how many attacks that we blocked. Okay, so this is kind of what an attack looks like um, when they come into your site. So it's very, very important that you're watching this and um, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're doing something about it. And the best way to do that is have your word fence set up to send you these alerts. Okay, so that you get them, you can see what's going on, and you can take care of it. Now you can see a lot. Um, of the this is the URL that obviously the attacks are going to go for is your WP login.php. Now um, we use the plugin uh, WP admin lockdown to change that URL. Now there may be a situation as in what this site is. Um, it is a membership site where my customers use um, this particular uh, login. Uh, to log in and download the products so you can't really block that and so this is how we do it we block we use this plugin to block countries okay um, you can see WP login has gotten 1803 block attempts okay all right so what I'm going to do is show you um, how to set up this plugin on your site okay so here we are on a um, just a test site and what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, plugins and add new. Okay, plugins and add new. Now you can just do a search for it because it's right here. So you can just do IQ block country and do a quick search for the plugin. And we're going to install this particular plugin here. And then we're going to activate it. Now this plugin um, does require some additional steps. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go and log into your control panel, your C panel, so you can access your file manager. Okay. Now when you activate the plugin, you're going to see this particular information up here. Okay. So what you're going to do is this link right here is you're going to need to download this file. Okay. So basically you're just going to click on this link. Okay, it's going to um, default to open with, so make sure you choose save file, and you want to save this file um, to your computer so that exactly you know exactly where it's at on your computer. So you're just going to save that. Okay, now since I've already done that, I'm going to cancel. Once you got that saved to your uh, computer, we need to go log into our cPanel account. Okay, so here we are. We're logged into our cPanel account. So what we need to do is scroll down and go to our file manager. If you have multiple domains or if you have add-on domains, make sure you choose the domain that you want to work with and we're going to click go. Okay, so once we're in our file manager, you want to make sure and we're going to go into WP content. We're going to go into uploads. Okay, so this is where we want to be. We want to be in our uploads folder. Now we need to upload the file that we downloaded. So we're going to click on upload. Once we're going to up, uh, on the upload screen, we're going to click Browse, and we're going to upload the zip file that we downloaded, which is goip.dat. We're going to click Open. We're going to let this upload. 
when it's complete we can just click this link to go back okay so once we've got it uploaded you're gonna see this zip file now what we need to do is click on this to highlight it and once it's highlighted we're gonna click extract and then we're gonna click OK or extract files click close and now we're going to reload and now you'll see goip.dat okay so this is what we want now when we go back to our site if we were to refresh this this will go away now okay you can see that it goes away now we need to set up the plugin inside of our uh, site okay so we're going to go to settings IQ block country now you're you're allowed to put any kind of message you want to in here um, but you can just leave this set to the what's in here right now but you can put whatever okay okay most of these settings down here you can just leave set at default okay front end we're gonna click on front end okay front end options um, depending on what you have going on with your site if your site if you don't have people logging into your site which is going to be the um, probably the case um, you can leave this unchecked now the second uh, thing here is block visitors from visit visiting the front end of your website this doesn't mean all visitors this means visitors that you choose to block okay so you want to leave that checked and uh, we can um, uh, stop visitors from using a search button depending on what kind of site you have if you have a niche site you can leave that unchecked now remember we're talking about the front end of your site so um, you may not want to block any countries from visiting the front end of your site although you probably will and I choose to block Russia um, in my case China uh, Ukraine and a few others now again this is the front end of your site we're going to take care of the back end in the next tab so we're going to uh, just choose a few here and basically you choose the uh, countries that you want to block okay once you have the countries that you want to block from the front end we're gonna go and click Save Changes now let's take a look at the back end of the site and this is your administration area so we're gonna talk about blocking countries from even accessing your administration area okay we're gonna uh, check the first block box because we're gonna block um, people from accessing uh, the back end of your site now here again we're going to select the countries that we want to block or in the other case we're going to select the country that the only country that we want to allow okay since I'm in the United States I'm the only one that's going to be using the back end of the site so I'm going to choose uh, United States okay and then I'm going to click inverse selection so that the only um, it will only allow um, from United States to visit the back end remember we're uh, inversing this selection okay normally we're selecting countries that we want to block in this case I want to block everybody except my country so I'm going to check this box to invert the, the selection and then I'm going to click Save Changes now you have the option to block according to page category post types you can block search engines um, but that's pretty much will take care of, of, of what you what you need to take care of as far as blocking people um, that shouldn't be accessing uh, WP login or the back end of your site this is a great plugin to use in conjunction with WordFence and um, other plugins that we use to secure our site now just as a brief refresh we're using WP security which is here we're using block bad queries there's no options to this just upload it and it will stop uh, start working for you we're using lockdown ad, uh, WP admin we're using security protection stop spam comments um, depending on your site um, if you are not going to be using comments uh, we recommend that you disable comments completely okay but we use uh, stop spam comments word fence obviously okay so those are some of the plugins that we use to secure our site hope you enjoyed the tutorial